Australia's new Prime Minister has vowed to make Southeast Asia a policy priority of his Labour government. Anthony Albanese is on a visit to Indonesia, his first bilateral engagement as leader, and he is pledging stronger cooperation on trade, security and climate change. Ms Albanese and President Joko Widodo also discussed strengthening their agriculture sectors and food security, as Russia's war in Ukraine continues to send global food prices soaring. Our CNA's Saif Bar Isma reports from Jakarta. Mr. Albanese was given a ceremonial welcome at the presidential palace in Bogor, West Java, on Monday. He met Indonesian President Joko Widodo, who recalled that Mr. Albanese had also visited Indonesia first when he became leader of the opposition in 2019. Indonesia is Australia's largest neighbour and represents one of its most important bilateral relationships. Speaking at the joint media conference, Mr. Albanese said deepening engagement with Southeast Asia is a priority. We will appoint a dedicated high-level roving regional envoy. We will also establish an office of Southeast Asia in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to ensure whole-of-government coordination of Australian efforts in the region. And we will deliver a comprehensive ASEAN economic strategy to 2040 to map current and future export and investment opportunities across key ASEAN markets. Australia will also deliver an additional $470 million over four years for overseas development assistance programs in the region. Climate change was high on the agenda during the meeting between the leaders too. Mr Widodo invited Mr Albanese to try out a bicycle made from bamboo as a show of Indonesia's commitment to sustainability. Mr Albanese said Canberra will offer $200 million climate and infrastructure partnership with Jakarta. This is part of his government's climate targets to offer better access to affordable and reliable clean energy across the region. Mr Widodo welcomed Australia's initiatives and looked forward to strengthening ties between the two countries. Indonesia dan Australia telah memiliki dua fondasi kuat dalam hubungan bilateral yaitu kemitraan strategis komprehensif yang dimiliki sejak 2018 dan Indonesia Australia SEPA yang sudah mulai beraku di tahun 2020. Dua fondasi ini sangat penting bagi kedua negara untuk terus memperkokoh kerjasama bilateral yang saling menguntungkan. On security, Mr Albanese said Australia supports ASEAN's outlook on the Indo-Pacific and its vision for peaceful, prosperous and secure Indo-Pacific. In a veiled reference to the trilateral security pact known as AUKUS between Australia, the United Kingdom and the United States, Mr Widodo said strategic competition in the region needs to be managed well to prevent an open conflict from happening. Australia is a member of the G20 countries and it supports Indonesia's chairmanship of the G20. Mr Albanese said he will attend the G20 Leaders' Summit in Bali in November. He said the work of the G20 is critical at this time of global economic uncertainty and Australia will work with Indonesia to ensure a successful summit. Safubari Smile, CNA, Jakarta.